Hello and welcome to today's Bitcoin video where we are going to be going through the magical range that we are seeing right now on the Bitcoin chart. A very magical time of the year, a very magical Bitcoin trading range. It just seems too perfect not to make this video today. Obviously, we're seeing in the time of the year of resurrections, miracles occurring. Well, I am going to be presenting you today the miracle that we have on the Bitcoin chart. And that is this range. Uh, this, this video today, a bit of fun bit of a relaxed video, uh, maybe 10 minutes long. And, uh, you know, we'll be back tomorrow with a serious technical analysis. But this one today, I want to have a bit of fun with you all and just talk you through this range that we've had because it has been nothing short of a trading miracle, if I say so myself. Ladies and gentlemen, what, what's your initial thought? Let, let, let's pretend you've been on holiday for the last week or you're a brand new subscriber, new, new viewer to the channel. Let's just say you have no idea of uh, this chart and you're approaching Bitcoin for today for the first time after spending a week off the charts. OK, so we're, we're approaching this today and we're thinking to ourselves, what, what are three words? What are three words that come to mind upon looking at this chart for the first time and having done no prior technical analysis? I think uh, some people might, uh, you know, describe this chart as choppy, choppy price action. I think they might describe this chart as maybe untradeable. Uh, untradeable, choppy action, and maybe the, the last word, what might, what might they describe this chart as, I suppose, maybe just uh, random. They might be thinking, these pivots are really random. You know, there's no way that I can trade this consistently. This is, this is the worst thing in the world. Every time I try and buy the breakout, it reverses. Every time I try and sell the breakdown, it reverses. How can I trade this? And obviously, we're going to be presenting you today the, the miracle that is trading a range, ladies and gentlemen, trading a range. You know, what What a, what a, well, I'm going to get the word right. What a phenomenon. <laughs> what a phenomenon. That, that one I'm not going to be able to forget. No, that's, that's our new word, phenomenon. <laughs> I like it. But anyway, uh, what we have obviously here is this really simple sideways range. And we might be thinking to ourselves, yeah, no, how on earth, how on earth can we have been trading this? And what it comes down to is magic. <laughs> magic. What it comes down to is doing your technical analysis. What it comes down to is finding out your levels of key support and key resistance prior to them even happening. And these are the levels that you want to be trading off of. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, for the past week now, we have had three key levels on our chart. That's a resistance, median point, and the low of support. So we have the high of the range, we have the low of the range, and we have the midpoint. Within this top, we obviously had a mini range going on within the larger range. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk you through a few posts here. <laughs> this video is going to be, be full of some uh, self-praise, but really I want to just emphasize the power of technical analysis and what we're having seen this week of the, in, in, in a, what's again, a miracle occurring with Jesus himself. And we have had a miracle on this chart, the miracle of good technical analysis. Levels being respected to the absolute dollar. Let me talk you through this, ladies and gentlemen, again. It's just a little bit of a fun video. Please, uh, please do not get upset. <laughs> let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin. So it all started back on the 29th of March. OK, 29th of March, before we had any of this occur, before we had any of this occur, we're obviously making our way up from around 50K and we're making our way up. We're making our way up. We're making our way up. If you remember correctly, uh, during the during the rise, I had not taken a trade for five days. You know, I was remaining patient. I recognized there was no shorts to be taken during this whole five day rise. Why? Because I didn't have that technical confluence to tell me to take that short. Hence, I remained patient during the whole rise. We finally had that high probability trading setup the first time it came in. And that was obviously at fifty nine thousand five hundred and thirty ish dollars. OK, so the first thing that I want you, you know, I really want to emphasize here is that patience you know that patience how many of how many you know speaking to your to yourself i'm speaking to you right now do you think you could go five days with not taking a trade and it's not just taking a trade because not taking a trade it's because you have recognized that is no good high probability trade do you think you have that self-control to say to yourself i am not going to take a trade until until Daniel says so. <laughs> no, until, uh, <laughs> you know, some people will do that. But what I want to say is until you actually have that high probability trading setup. And are you able, are you comfortable to to remain patient for that length of time? Some people definitely, the answer is no. <laughs> Hopefully you can start to say yes as you uh, become more accustomed to our way of trading. Anyway, moving on, we obviously uh, waited five days for this and it obviously all started moving up into that key level resistance. I want to remind you here, this, this update was given to my team on the 29th 
of March. Okay, 29th of March at 10 a.m. I was giving this update. It was obviously with that key resistance at $59,530. Key resistance and key support. These are updates that I give to my team every single day, Monday to Friday. And that uh, update on the 29th was giving that key resistance. I give a key resistance, key support. Key resistance, 59,530. Well, what happens when we approach my key resistance? Naturally, <laughs> moi, I'm going to be looking for short positions. Why? Because it's a key resistance, ladies and gentlemen. Surprise, surprise. We look for shorts at resistance, longs at support. What a brown, what a groundbreaking new outlook of the market where most people are looking to buy resistance because they love to buy breakouts. They're looking to short support because they love to short the breakdowns. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're doing. We're, we are we are shorting at resistance and we are longing at support. OK, and this was obviously the video. I want to just play you these few clips because, hey, I love to. Um, let, 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 let's just listen to what I was saying, obviously, during this uh, video, which again was from the 30th of March as this was happening going to be explaining the short position that I am literally entering right now. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, $59,500. This for me is such a key region of resistance. Okay, we we're obviously talking you through there that, uh, you know, I was making that video as it was happening. As it was happening, as you can see my face here, hmm. <laughs> I'm about to hit the sell button. You know, we're obviously coming up to, well, obviously for my trading update, 59530 Obviously, had that key level above us, uh, 59,659. Remember that level. Okay. And well, naturally, what happened? We had that key resistance. And as you saw, I was taking that short right in the time. And obviously, we we're talking about that first key take profit. If we just remind ourselves of that. Okay. And that is $58,400. $58,400. Okay. A very key level for me in terms of support where I will take profit one. OK, and I was obviously talking about fifty eight thousand four hundred. So in that video, which was, uh, you know, live in the time. And as uh, you know, as you can remember, when that video was made, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. It's called to lose patience is to lose the battle. <laughs> How perfect was that quote? Because we remained patient for five days and we had literally the best one of the best trades, I think, in the whole world in terms of cryptocurrency trading. Um, so we really did win the battle. <laughs> but we obviously well, I was anyway taking that short right here on the Bitcoin chart, live update as it was happening. And I gave 58,400 and released this video to the public before that level hit. You know, that's pretty, pretty amazing. And obviously we were trading overall, offered a key level that I gave to my contenders and champions on the daily updates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we all know how this progressed. And I, the reason why I'm, I just really want to emphasize this all came from a plan. OK, you can start to see how we are trading at Chart Champions and it is making that plan prior to the move it's being aware of our levels before they hit so when we're reaching resistances we're not thinking you know we're not worried we're not you know what you know what do main what do the majority of people struggle with they struggle with fomo they struggle with their emotions they struggle with thinking oh my god i've just watched this uh you know this crazy youtube video where apparently we're going up like massively or we're going to be breaking down massively i need to panic sell and you know we are trying to get people away from all these type of emotional plays which will lose you money into a mindset of have a plan have your levels and trade the charts really is as simple as that we're obviously giving fifty eight thousand four hundred dollars you know i emphasized it pretty hard of a, of a very key support level Ladies and gentlemen, you couldn't have got much key than this after taking that short literally at the absolute high of the move. We managed to bring that down. You see the low up here on the top left, low of the move, $58,400 to the exact dollar. Well, this is where uh, this is where the magic miracles themselves start to occur. Ladies and gentlemen, naturally, that was the exact dollar low of the move. Well, actually, I took take profit three because I took two take profits prior to this. Why? Well, I've talked you through this in a prior video. I had recognized that it was highly likely that we were going to come up and tap that second key resistance, which we obviously had missed at, the, at that time. Well, simultaneously, we had also not taken the highs on all exchanges. So you see how I'd recognized and, you know, adapted my plan to actually TP3 here and recognize that this was going to end as a, you know, a nice short. Why? We needed to take those highs. We needed to end that final bull trap. And we also could take the liquidity of our key level uh, to the upside. All three points came together. All three points came together. And we can see the reaction that we had here. So after taking the short here, I'm sure actually myself taking along at 58,400, we managed to reverse that into a short position up at the highs. You might be thinking, you know, well, you already know if you've been watching the videos over the past week. But hey, 
you might be thinking to yourself, you know, 50, 56,800, that obviously happening on the 31st of March. What happened there? What, what is the reason of this support? Well, once again, we refer to the miracle levels that I give inside of, the, inside of the group. Miracle level was given on the 30th of March. So the 30th of March, I gave the key support of $56,800. $56,800 given on the 30th of March at 12.32. So on the 30th of March, we were giving 56800 Surprise, surprise. On the 31st of March at 9 a.m., we hit the low of $56,814. That is within 0.001% of the low. You all saw what happened on that day uh, when I was making a video at the time. We obviously, well, I did, long to the absolute low of the wick. And I was saying to my team during the video that, you know, came from this, you know, the next best long is literally the CC. We all know what happened off of this when we put on our CC template. We hit the CC to the absolute dollar low. And in the end, we made our way, have a guess where to, back up to that key level of resistance. Okay, so this really is as we bring it along, we bring it along, we bring it along. Let's put this up on a slightly higher time, time frame. Now we can start to acknowledge what we really have going on here. Okay, obviously emphasizing you know i just want to emphasize these are posts from within the group three key levels for me trading we are just range bound we look at those three key levels they have not changed over this past week obviously since here we've come down up down once more but these three key levels really for me have been absolutely well just to say we call them key so really we can see after the short here back into the long back into the short back into a long at the lows we have really progressed our way along this chart, even giving us some pretty nice trades that happened on live stream. During the live stream, which would have been from the 2nd of April, uh, you saw me longing these lows here during the stream, recognizing that volume was decent, actually getting the take profit one during that stream as well to the absolute dollar SR flip. Overall, though, we can see we made our way up to, surprise, surprise, our key level once again. You can see this key level pretty key what can we say a uh, pretty key resistance bam resistance bam resistance bam resistance bam in the end we make our way surprise surprise all the way down through the middle of our range have a guess where to the low of our range this is obviously where we were talking yesterday about you know where's the best short on this you know where is it on this, this moment in time let's bring it down a time frame slightly so it doesn't look so messy Okay, we were talking about this yesterday while we we're here. You know, where's the best short position? And we were obviously saying the best short is going to be back at your, your key level. We were talking about the ascending triangle that we had here. And obviously, we can play the breakout of this either way. And in the end, we broke that to the downside. We come down towards $57,000. And you got that really quick reaction to the upside. You know, you really couldn't make it up. <clears throat> you, 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 break that, you break that pattern. You test towards the CC. And you get your break to the upside. Sorry, I need to cough. And you obviously break towards the uh, upside of the key level. And, you know, you, I just want to, like, remind you here, like, how many, how, you know, you've got to think to yourself, like, like we were saying at the start of the video, how many people look at this blank with not knowing the key levels that we are giving and think to themselves, what is going on here? Like, how can anybody short here? How can anybody long here? How can anybody short here, long here, short here? Like, you can see how many people might be really confused of why on earth did we turn around here? Why did we turn around here this morning? Why are we turning around here right now? You see how many people, when they have no technical analysis, are going to be really confused about this chart. Really confused. And then I present you the levels that we're trading from, which we've been trading from for a week now. And suddenly everything makes sense. We are enlightening people on the charts. I truly believe people can look at this and think to themselves, this makes no sense. There is no way in the world people are able to trade this and make money consistently. That's exactly what we've been doing this week. These are the three levels we've been trading from. And these three levels are absolutely dictating the market. Key resistance, shorts, key supports, longs. Absolutely influencing the whole of the cryptocurrency market right now. And I think the power really was in yesterday when we were going over it one final time of you got to either wait for the move down back towards and test the CC here. And ultimately, you're looking up for that short back up at the key resistance level. I want to share this with you, obviously, uh, one final time here. You know, I get I get mentioned in, in stories on Instagram, 100, 100 different stories a day. 
unfortunately i can't obviously see every single story that i get mentioned in but i saw this one and it made, it made me smile uh so she obviously posted the short setup off of our key resistance easy invalidation though i saw that 17 hours ago if you're not following on instagram this might be why you want to follow because i saw this short setup and i was like this, you know this is the one this is what we're talking about 17 hours ago i re what's this called like re-story retweet this seen by about three thousand people and of course this was a very easy short it was literally what we were talking about in the video if you wanted some extra confidence of course this was the easy short we were back up at our key resistance level at the time and i mean even if you didn't want to take the first attempt you got the second attempt wicking onto the exact level stop loss above the high you got your target i mean this is what can we say that, that that really is an easy invalidation, easy short position, as you can see here, entry, stop loss, aim back down to your key level. I mean, if you look very closely, you can see the three key levels on her chart. Um, of course, the, the level was absolutely respected. And what can we say? This this really was a very easy short position, I want to say. It really was an easy short. Um, all you just had to do is have confidence in our levels that our levels are going to be respected. When do they not get respected? Come on. <laughs> anyway, we obviously made our way down. Surprise, surprise. If we're talking here in terms of percentage, within 0.03%, 0.03% of our key level here. We hit that 56,800 again, again, the levels that we've been talking about now for weeks. And uh, literally 0.03% reaction to the upside. And now we're coming back into a round resistance. I'll show you this right now. This is obviously coming back into a round resistance here, more or less, as we see an intraday resistance come into play. And so that really is, <laughs> that's really what I wanted to talk you through. I wanted to talk you through that just the magical range that we've had here. Magical, you might, you might refer to this as, magic you might refer to this as a, a miracle you might refer to this as many different things you might refer to this as uh, you might you might even be sat there saying well oh, this guy's this guy's full of uh full of full of rubbish he doesn't know what he's on about and hey if you think that more power to you man like if you feel that, that that's the case hey <laughs> i'm not gonna be that bothered to be honest with you i think for the people that are here to really learn and i just think we are proving this time and time and time again week after week uh, anybody else recognize these levels like we did well if they did they must have made a lot of money let's all just say that <laughs> if anybody else had recognized these levels in advance like we had they are sitting very wealthy this week Obviously, see look at this this was another bond i retweeted look at this pnl literally the pnl of people's accounts are going exponentially high why because hey we're the king of <laughs> we're the kings of trading ranges we've had a really nice range people doing well what can i say um and there was one thing that I wanted to end here with. There was one thing that I wanted to end here with. I mean, just look at this. People really are absolutely killing it on their results. You know, and this was this was the one that I wanted to end here with. <laughs> Apparently yesterday I had brain damage. <laughs> I had comments yesterday saying I had brain damage because I couldn't, uh, <laughs> couldn't speak correctly. Obviously, I went to the uh, Facebook doctors about that. Facebook doctors over at the lad Bible comment section. I said, you know, I think I might have brain damage, you know lots of medical experts in the facebook comments helping me out but <laughs> um you know overall overall i think it just becomes like, so i think the, the thing is because obviously i am bilingual and i think i just get like, stuck up on words sometimes when i'm thinking like i get so used to just i don't know like it's weird i'm pretty sure i'm healthy though but this was the one that i wanted to point out in the middle of the uh health health um talk <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the legendary meme once again uh made this one for me now look at this the best way to predict future levels is to create reactions at them yourself the wizard of chart champions <laughs> not a very flattering photo but you get the point that was the best way to create uh the best way to predict the future hey it's me to talk about these levels follow up on those levels days in advance you know literally one day in advance calling the high one day in advance calling the low and then throughout the week talking you through how we have these and literally on this one i draw in live stream the longs of these midpoints look at this up into the high come back into the low i was saying the best short is going to be back at the midpoint hey we had the short back at the midpoint people i know for 100 percent took the trade and what can i say today literally i've woke up with once again hundreds of dms from people saying thank you and so that really warms my really really just makes me happy uh, people following the technical analysis people making money what more what more can they want of course ladies and gentlemen this video today was a bit of fun uh how long have we gone on for 19 minutes what <laughs> what <laughs> how have i done that i thought this video was gonna last like five ten minutes that's so crazy i get carried away i suppose i get a bit carried away when i'm talking technical analysis especially when i'm talking you through my levels what can i say um 
yeah, I, I'm, I never thought this video was going to be 20 minutes, but hey, it's 20 minutes. I hope, I hope that you had some free time today on a, on a video that has been, uh, I suppose, not, not really of a lot of value per se, more a video of, hey, look at these levels, man. Look at these levels and, and tell, me they don't, they, tell me they don't dictate the market. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to bring you a magical video for a magical day, uh, Easter Monday. If you celebrate, if you don't celebrate Easter, then... Uh, Hey, just have a good day overall, no? I hope you just had a good day trading the range. <laughs> um, should have made you some money, I suppose, at the very least. Of course, though, paper money at the end of the day. We don't give financial advice, no financial legal advice, no advice at all in this video. It's an entertainment, educational video only. Make sure you understand that legal disclaimer. And uh, if you want to trade along, make sure you set up a demo account. Of course, trade that paper, stack the fake paper money. <laughs> uh, that's all we're doing, of course. We're just trading with fake money. So uh, <laughs> uh, what can we say here, ladies and gentlemen? I'll be back tomorrow with a more serious video. Uh, today was just a little bit of a uh, little bit of a fun, a little bit of a, a little bit of a fun video looking at the, the miracles that we have within this chart and how you go from thinking to yourself, what is going on here? I have no idea. How can anybody tra be trading these levels? How on earth can anybody call these levels in advance to then reminding you, Hey, this is Chart Champions, and this is what we do. We 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 make levels. We make sure those levels are respected. And hashtag CC pool. Shout out to the CC guys. We run these charts. What can we say? Crushing these charts every day, stacking the paper, <laughs> and uh, making it fun at the same time. What can we say? And for the people that don't know the magic gift, where is the magic gift? Before we end, oh, there's too many gifts here, man. There's too many gifts. <laughs> there is there we go there, 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 there's a little magic you see this if you have enjoyed the magic smash up the likes if you've hated the magic smash up the dislikes <laughs> overall I hope you have a brilliant day that's me signing off i'll catch you tomorrow for a more serious video uh we'll be going over the levels uh when we break down you know towards the lows we'll be going over our next levels to the downside so cheers everybody thank you ever so much and have a brilliant brilliant day thank you ever so much goodbye cheers